Justin Lucas hey. in the Berkeley yeah. booth. We're here in the Berkeley booth with Mr. Justin Lucas, Tech Warehouse Pro Staffer, Berkeley Pro Staffer, and we're yeah. here to talk about some really exciting new hard baits from Berkeley. Uh, this is one I know we're both really excited about. This is the brand new Berkeley Dime. Tell us all about this brand new crank. Yeah, so this is uh, gonna be available in four different sizes, as you can see here. A four, a six, a 10, and a 15. And uh, man, I, I started throwing these things a couple months ago, and also a friend of mine, Justin Atkins, and it was one of those deals where we got our samples in the mail, we go down and test them, and it was just like, we felt like the Fritz Side 5 all over again because we call each other and it's like, dude, this thing's gonna catch him. He actually caught a couple off the bank uh, down at Pickwick when he went and tested it out. So, uh, and I caught some on the floor too, some really, really nice ones, so at Gunnersville. Um, but yeah, this bait is, uh, it's just one of those baits, as soon as you put it in the water, start to crank it, uh, you get that feel like this thing is a fish catcher and it casts really, really well. That's one of our favorite things about it. There's a lot of design and effort put into the castability of this. You can see on this translucent one, how the weight transfers to the tail. So we got good casting distance there. Uh, and then, you know, that's your only sound that you're gonna get out of it too. And that's been really important for us over here at Berkeley is getting some crankbaits like the Fritz Side 5, you know, that's just got just a little tiny knock to it uh, because we, we like that, you know, we like that, we like silent. Uh, and we'd like to throw rattle stuff too. And the drip, we still have the dredger, which has plenty of rattles, but the dime is awesome. The colors are amazing. I know you're trying to get some for the Delta already. So you can see like that phantom red right there, special red craw right there. And what's really neat about this being a plastic bait is you can do these type of colors, you know, where you wouldn't be able to do that if it was wood. Uh, some of these translucent colors that we need, you know, they fit in the lineup. Tell us a little bit about, uh, in, the, in the scope of diving depths here, uh, the round bill and the body design and how that's really gonna impact the action here. So you just get that good, I, I don't even know what you would call it, but just that good swim on a crankbait. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, like I said at the beginning, we, we've been testing baits for so long, you know when you throw something, you start to reel it back to the boat if it's gonna be a fish catcher or not. And I remember the very first time I threw a Fritz Side 5, I was like, this thing, threw it the next day in the tournament at the Classic. Uh, that's how confident I was. And as soon as I picked up the four, the six, and then I got some 10s and 15s, uh, man, at Gunnersville this spring, they were unbelievable. Uh, and they're gonna be unbelievable for a lot of people. I'm just wondering why I didn't get some this spring. Uh, well, it was top secret project. You weren't involved in that, so. Well, that's not very nice. We, we can probably hook you up now. Luckily, if there's a color that is your color, they're gonna have it we in the brand new it. Berkeley Dime, available in four sizes, right? What are those again? Four sizes, a four, six, 10, and a 15. Awesome, all kinds of great applications, great colors, great casting, great action, a fish catcher, a bite it getter. It That's is. the brand new Berkeley yep. Dime, available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse, and shipping? This fall. This fall, thank you. Up next from Berkeley, an extension to the already popular Powerbait, Power Stinger yeah. line of trailers. This is a new uh, swim bait tail version of the Power Stinger. Tell us all about this great new swim bait. Yeah, so this is a boot tail version of the Power Stinger, paddling Power Stinger. Uh, it's gonna come in two sizes as well, just like the Power Stinger does. We have three and a half inch, a four and a quarter, uh, all the same colors. So you're gonna have some HD colors and then some of the just traditional power bait, translucent, whatever type of colors, you know. But it is available with some HD. Uh, the cool thing about this and what people are starting to see, we're doing at Berkeley with some of these uh, soft swim baits like the coal shad and other things, is the honeycomb body. And it gives you a lot of durability, uh, but most importantly, it gives the bait better action. So, and it actually makes it stronger. So some people look at it and think that it weakens the bait, but it actually makes the bait stronger. Uh, so this bait has great action. You can fish it, of course, on a slobber knocker as a trailer, uh, or you can put it on a jig head. Uh, you can put it on an Alabama rig. You can put it on a weighted uh, fusion hook uh, in Texas rig it, reel it through grass. Very versatile bait. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's one you want to put in the lineup. Absolutely. Especially if you've been throwing the power stinger. Sure, sure. Uh, I, I really love how meaty this bait is, uh, how much bulk it has, yep. top to bottom and side to side. Uh, I don't know, that just makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I'm gonna get a little bigger, bigger bite on a three Well, and the good thing bait. about that too is when you thread it on a hook, you don't tear the head up and it holds on the hook really well. And so that's important for me because I, I personally, like I hate using super glue on swim baits because I don't wanna have to glue it and then when it comes off, it's a pain. I don't have time for that. 
So I want to put a bait on that's going to hold on the hook well and, uh, and last. And you're going to catch a lot of fish on one bait. So. Dur durability without sacrificing action. You got it. A bunch of great colors. These brand new paddle and power stinger swim baits are available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse, shipping this fall. Check them out. Up next from Berkeley, the brand new power bait, power switch. Anyone who has looked at anything bass fishing in the last four or five years knows the impact of forward-facing sonar. Yep. And we've all seen a lot of products. Tell us why this one is the one for forward-facing sonar. Uh, well, obviously, there's a lot that work really well with forward-facing sonar, but uh, the guys at Berkeley wanted to come up with a bait that was designed pretty much specifically for using uh, on forward-facing sonar. And so this bait is all about angler control. Uh, you can cast it and then snap your rod and you can actually keep the bait like, you can almost keep it from coming back to the boat. You can keep it in one spot, 50, 60 feet away and get that thing to dance right above the fish's head, you know, twitch all over the place, very erratic action. Or you can do s some smaller snaps that are gonna slowly bring it back to the boat uh, or also vertically jigging it, you know? So uh, it's, it's really a more versatile bait than it looks like because it looks really simple. Uh, but it's got a nice little spade tail on there, incredible action. The big thing is uh, the weight being molded inside the bait. You can catch, I've heard guys catching up to 30 bass oh, wow. on one bait. Uh, there's six different sizes, but then that weight, and this is my favorite size right here, this is a three inch with a three eighths ounce. Uh, thing falls like a rock and you can stop it right above them and start to work it, you know, and uh, it's gonna be a bait and technique. Uh, it's almost like a new technique uh, and it's going to be something that's going to take some time to practice. Like you're not just going to go out there and just light them up on day one, probably, because you're going to get have you're going to have to get used to the technique uh, that it takes to work this bait. But it's very different than anything else out there, and I, something I'm very excited about uh, spending some more time this winter on. Very cool. You you can tell how much uh, weight there is forward of the line tie. Yeah. So this thing's going to hang perfectly horizontal in the yep. water uh, when you're when you're doing that moping technique or dropping on them like like you mentioned that's right uh, and, and really interested to see the action in the water as you're you're talking about walking that power switch in it's, place it's crazy because you'll watch it on uh, forward facing sonar and it I mean it'll sometimes dance so wide it'll go out of picture and back in oh wow and so it's got a lot of side to side very erratic uh, but it does get those fish to bite and it's going to be it's going to be one of those techniques that's going to be guys are going to figure it out and then it's going to be here to stay very cool something that's going to come into play in your upcoming tack warehouse vlog shoot uh potentially we'll see what corey has got on the lineup but i think that that lake might set up nice yeah for this. i would we'll definitely see. like to try it up there yeah. so that's a brand new berkeley power bait power switch optimized for forward facing sonar uh and that's available available for pre-order now at tacklewarehouse.com shipping this fall mr justin lucas Thanks so much for taking us through. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Up next from Berkeley, something that has already hit the market and has been a major player in some big tournaments this, oh, this yeah. spring yeah, is the time. brand new Berkeley Cole Shad swim bait. Tell us all about this guy. All right. So uh, you guys have been hearing about it. It's been in our lineup. We've had them since February. And I remember throwing it the first time, again, like we talked about with dimes. Dude, it's one of those things when you saw it swim the first time, you're like, all right, that's going to be a great bait. It's going to catch a lot of fish. Uh, and our original prototypes that we had, all, all the pros, were great. They are fantastic. The problem is, uh, or the problem was, when they brought these out, the first run uh, that some people got, and those replacements are you know, being made, uh, but the plastic was poured too stiff. So the mold, everything was right. It was just the plastic was poured too stiff and the bait didn't have the same swimming action at slower speeds. If you sped it up, you could get some action out of it, uh, but it wasn't the exact same ones that we had. So they're making it right. If you already bought one, you're gonna get that replaced free, no charge. Uh, but let's start talking about the bait. So two sizes, eight inch and six inch. Uh, you guys see the honeycomb on both of them. The honeycomb tail gives it a ton of action uh, and also very, very durable. I actually have a friend that bought one of the ones from uh, a store uh, that he's going to get it replaced, but he's already caught like over 30 bass on one coal shack. Oh, wow. So they hold up very, very well. I won't say what part of the country he's in. He doesn't want me saying that. I know. Uh, but the best thing about this bait to me, other than the action, is just how simple the hook clip is and how well it holds up. Uh, so you can see right there when you push it down in, it holds. And when you catch a fish, it pops free every time. And so that is, 
I like skipping this bait around docks. I can do that. Uh, the hook doesn't come out. If it starts to come out a little too much, just take a pair of pliers and bend it back, get it tight again. But the harness is amazing. This bait holds up super well. Great action. The fish love it. That's my favorite color. That's it. Hitch. But uh, of course, sight flash and everything else works great too. Really cool bait. Um, you know, we, we've seen, uh, it, you know, I think a lot of people would look at a bait like this. A lot of parts of the country say this is a gizzard mimic, yeah. but it's catching fish in places uh, that don't have gizzard Dude, chat. it is. Um, it is. Up north. Right. Like right. crazy I think, places. I think, speaking to your buddy, there's probably a lot of guys in a lot of parts of the country that are like, I don't want anybody to hush, know. Hush, hush. They, they think they've got the big secret. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, Kudos to, to Berkeley for doing the right thing. Uh, they had a little misrun, as yeah. you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and we want it to be right too, because we sure. want them. We sure. want them like the ones we had originally. If you so already have purchased uh, one of these baits from Tackle Warehouse, you can go to Berkeley's website to get that uh, replaced. You just send them a picture; they'll send you a new one. And then the next runs of them are going to be as good or better than the prototypes you fished. You that's what I'm going to load up, dude. Especially this color. I don't have any of these yet. Electric what, what, shad. Electric you shad. Huh? We gotta get going? Yeah. All right. I guess we're done. Oh, All right. Sorry, I thought you guys were BS. They're still <laughs> going. Did you walk in on the shot? I thought you guys cut. Sorry. Let's just keep it rolling. Sorry. Corey. Spielberg. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Justin. It wouldn't, be, know what hey, to say. it wouldn't be a tackle warehouse Dude, shoot without this. Thank you so it. much. <laughs> That's the brand new Cole Shad. <laughs> brand new Cole yeah. Shad from Berkeley, available for pre-order now. We should be getting a great run of baits very soon, uh, and we we'll look for delivery uh, next couple of months here. Thanks so much, Justin. Yep, we really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> Up next, joining us in the Berkeley booth is Mr. Mike Iconelli, Tackle Warehouse and Berkeley Pro Staffer, here to tell us all about the Nessie. It's a brand new glide bait. It's a swim bait from Berkeley. Tell us all about this. All right, how much time do we have? Because there's a lot going on with this lure. All right, first of all, it's a soft glide. And I want to talk about that because most of these glide baits are hard. They're resin, they're plastic, they're other materials. This one is power bait, right? So think of the advantages of a soft glide bait. I can skip it, I can chuck it a mile, but here's a big one, you ready? It compacts in the fish's mouth. So many of those hard glide baits, it's so rigid that they hit it and they can't get it in their mouth. This one compresses. The other great thing about this one is the sound of a soft glide bait. So a hard glide bait is mechanical. It sounds mechanical, right? Screws, plastic. This one is silent because it's a soft bait. And again, it's power bait, right? So it's soft price point. This is a glide bait that the regular dude can buy. You go online and you try to buy a lot of these glide baits, we're talking about 50, 100, $200 for one bait. $12.99 for the nine inch Nessie, which is a great price point. All right, let's get into some of the features of it. Start with the tail. We have an integrated paintbrush tail. And if you're watching this and you're a hardcore swim bait guy, glide bait guy, you know that that's a qualifier for it to be legit, okay? So the paintbrush tail gives it not only a bait fish profile, but a little bit of texture. Feel that thing, right? A little bit of texture in a soft bait. The next th thing on this bait are the stabilizing fins. We like to call it a hybrid bait because although it's soft plastic, feel the fins. Oh yeah. The fins are actually hard plastic. So the fins are gonna give it its swimming ability and its stability to be horizontal in the water. And listen, with these glides, it's so important. You don't want a bait to be like that. You don't want a bait to be like that. Dude, a natural bait fish sits like that. So these hard fins give it, gives it an ability to stay horizontal, but they also let you work it right out of the pack. I'm really, really proud of this Nessie because you throw it out and it moves itself. And you're gonna see that S movement of this bait, okay? Um, let's go to the joint, and we have a single joint. That's what makes this bait S. And if you look at that joint, it's wider in the back than it is on the front joint. So when the water hits that joint, that's what's gonna give it that movement. If you hold it up to the light, 
you're going to see mesh on the inside. And we've got a mesh system that keeps those joints together. So we're going to be able to catch a ton of fish. All right, let's go to the hooking system. Dude, this is the deal. Okay, so we have a harness hooking system with a big, super sharp single treble, but the clip is the magic, okay? So when that hook is engaged in the body, we've got a little slot, we've got a clip. It keeps it in the bait, locked in place. So we can skip it, we can long cast it. The hook is always in the right position. When the fish eats it, the hook will snap out and he can't leverage the weight of that bait and you land the fish. Okay, so really, really critical part of this bait is that hook clip system. Um, we're gonna go next to the eyes. Oversized eyes on this bait. And if you're a swim bait guy, you know they headshot these lures. So we want that fish to go after the front. That's like a target. It's like a bullseye, okay? Last but not least, on the body itself, we have little bullseyes on it for your nail weights. And we can custom nail weight this to go deeper in the water column. Let's end with the colors, dude. Custom colors. You've got the rainbow trout. Look, I've got the herring, golden shiner, shad. I mean, these things are hand painted. This isn't a pad paint process. This isn't some cheap painting process. These are hand painted to be custom swim baits. So, Dude, this is gonna change the game. It's gonna allow the average dude to throw a glide bait for the first time at a reasonable price point. It's, it's amazing. Well, there's a lot of people like myself that own a small fortune in custom glide baits uh, that are gonna to want to add this to their arsenal you as well. It. You can really tell that this bait was well thought out from the nose to the tail, the top to the bottom, hook up being first and foremost. You get a lot of followers, a lot of bites on the glide. Uh, and, and having that soft soft bait to increase your hookup ratio. Uh, super well thought out bait, beautiful colors. This is the brand new Berkeley Power Bait Nessie swim bait. It's avail available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse, shipping this fall. Thanks for telling us all about it. You're welcome. I can't wait people to try it out. It's gonna be a great bait. Up next with Ike in the Berkeley booth, we have the brand new Mike Iaconelli Hand, what, what is it, Signature Series? Signature Series? Signature that Series. Good, yeah. 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 The brand new Shad E swim bait and so much more, right? Yeah. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it's a cool bait because it's an extension of the ghillie. Right. And uh, widely successful, popular ghillie. And we basically took that concept and brought it into a more elongated Shad style bait. So it's the same, but it's different. Okay? So. Rigging options like the ghillie, a lot of ways to rig this thing, man. Sure. Okay, so uh, Texas rigged, side rigged, swim bait hook, uh, Carolina rig, flipping, pitching, a lot of rigging options. And I think that's one of the keys to this bait. Um, the next thing is the action. And like the ghillie, it has a fluid inline action, but it's tighter. It's a lot tighter. And the way we did that is we removed the side tabs on this bait. So it catches less water, so we tightened up the action. So if you're familiar with the ghillie, it's even tighter, okay? We have the same stamped pad in the back, and if you look at that, it's almost like cut, and that's what's gonna give that bait that fluidity of movement. Look at that little little dorsal fin. The thread. thread. So being anatomically correct and profile is super important, right? So we have an elongated shad profile, even with the little thread. Stabilizing fins, uh, like the ghillie, if you look at it, we have a set on the tail. We have a set as on, the, on the body. So that's gonna keep it horizontal. That's gonna keep it anatomically correct. Uh, it's a great way to keep that bait up. Even laying on the bottom, when you let this thing settle to the bottom, it's gonna to settle to the bottom like this. And one of the keys to this bait, like the gill, you ready? Hollow top slot. And if you look at it, we got a little hole in the top. The whole top of this body is hollow. So most of the weight is in the bottom. Because it's bottom weighted, that's how you're gonna get that 
horizontal fluid movement. So uh, two sizes, a lot of great colors, including these HD patterns. Dude, it, it mimics the exact forage you're trying to, trying to match. Gizzard, Threadfin, Alwife, whatever you're trying to match, we have a color for it. So great, great new bait. Some really cool finishes, a great design. Can tell a lot was put into the, the thought, the, the form, and the function of this bait. Yes. I will say, so some of the versatility with the ghillie, yeah. I think uh, there's so many ways to rig it, was also daunting for some anglers, including me. Yeah. Where's a good place to start? If I yeah. want to buy this bait and try one rigging yeah. technique, where would you recommend people start? There's so many great rigging methods. My favorite, without a doubt, is called side rigging which is um, Texas rigging the bait with an EWG style hook, but putting the hook below the middle of the bait, right? Always on the bottom. Once again, hollow at the top, solid at the bottom. When we side rig it, we're gonna get that fluidity of movement and you can fish it anywhere, right? It's not an exposed hook. So weeds, docks, logs, brush, throw it right in the middle of it and reel it back. Awesome. Great place to start. A great new bait available for pre-order now at Top Warehouse shipping this fall. That's the brand new Berkeley Power Bait Shad E swim bait. Joining us in the Berkeley booth for Tackle Warehouse first look at ICAST, someone that knows a little something about Florida <laughs> and a little something about frogs, yeah. Mr. Bobby Lane. Bobby, this is the brand new Berkeley Swamp Lord walking and popping frog. Tell us right. all about these. Yep, the standard and the popping frog, man. We We've been working on years with this thing and we, we finally got it right. And what all frogs don't have, right, is the softness. What does everybody do when they grab a frog? First thing you do is you try to feel how soft it is. You wanna see where the bite is on the frog. So for years and years, we tried to get these frogs soft enough. Well, we got the problem resolved. We got the Swamp Lord out. What I love about the packaging, you can actually push right here inside the packaging to see how soft these frogs are. Fusion 19 hooks, like you said, some cool new colors that nobody's seen. How about this, Potomac blue. It looks just like a blue crab. Nobody's ever done a bone. Look at this burnt bone color, man. I mean, we got them all in the, in the walking frog and the pop and the Fusion 19 hooks, but you can see the bite. I mean, the minute you squeeze, these Fusion 19 hooks are going in these fish's mouth. Frog fishing is back. I'm enjoying it myself. And with these new frogs, I've been catching a lot more. And uh, man, I'm super pumped. I throw it on one line. Dura braid, 50, 65 pound test. The only only braid I throw now, man. I I'm, I just love the Dura braid. It got that little extra bite to it and that zing. And yeah, dude. I mean, these are. It's good to see these things come to life. It, it's been a long time in the makings. Very cool. Uh, you said frog fishing is back. I don't think it ever left. Uh, it never left in my heart. This is the brand new Berkeley uh, Swamp Lord frog. There's a popping version and a regular version for walking or yep. throwing on yep. the mat, whatever you want to do. Yep. These are available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse. Bobby Lane, thank you so much for taking us through that. We really appreciate it. Uh, check these out at Tackle Warehouse. And that is all from the Berkeley booth today.